Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show and discuss photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these on a telegram channel, called, Antiki Tech Research Archive. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of race to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Light was used extensively in the world's fairs, which much of it appears to be extraordinary for its time. Even forgetting the inconsistencies and impossibilities of the world's fairs, light emitters were depicted much earlier, and they just happened to look like what the world's fairs presented later on. Considering we know that sound and vibration can emit light, it is not unreasonable to hypothesize that these old vibrating buildings could illuminate on their own. Many old world structures standing today look suspiciously like they can get turned on. Nuremberg, Germany, 1650. A firework display they call it. There is in fact fireworks going off, but look closer. The weapons that the men have are not fireworks. Not at all, can't even be mistaken for fireworks. Those are swords that are used as electricity conductors, electricity of which is harnessed from the altar in the middle. The swords are even shaped like lightning bolts. It is a surprise that this illustration wasn't quickly hidden. It clearly shows electricity harnessing, and they just call this a simple firework display, hoping no one would look closer at the illustration. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Rejuicences du Pupil, in Reims, on August 27, 1765. This is clearly electrical light. According to our given history, Sir Humphrey Davy invented the first light bulb in 1809. This depiction is well before then, and in another country. Not to mention, this kind of electrical lighting depicted in this illustration would be considered highly advanced if it was in the late 1800s, but this is the mid-1700s. Also worth mentioning that the first notably successful light bulb was made by Thomas Edison, which was revealed to the world in 1879, over a hundred years after this advanced electrical light depiction. Apparently, these are from 1770. Quite the electrical looking lights. This predates Edison's reveal of the light bulb to the world by over 100 years. France, 1782. The pillars and the top of the main building are not normal electricity for the time, or so we think. Predates Edison's reveal of the light bulb by nearly 100 years. Paris, France, 1790. Electrical illumination that predates Edison's light bulb revealed by nearly 100 years. Moscow, Russia, 1801. Over 70 years before Edison's light bulb reveal. Our history is a lie. Paris, 1851. Predates Edison's light bulb revealed by over 20 years. These early bulbs had extremely short lifespans, were too expensive to produce or use too much energy. Why are they wasting so much time and money on this light show if they don't even last very long? This is Moscow, Russia, 1856. 
predates Edison's reveal of the light bulb to the world by over 20 years. Depiction of a giant flashlight around 1775. The caption reads, A woman with a giant torch mesmerizes a deer. The close-minded people are always going to explain in their worldview no matter how stupid their explanations are. Some people are incapable of admitting when something breaks their understanding. It's a flashlight. It couldn't be more clear. The people in the drawing were most likely given this device. Energy or odds used to be on tons of buildings from the old world. Poles that high in the air generate a serious amount of static electricity, and the idea that people put these poles up and had no idea this could be harnessed is implausible. I can find barely any mainstream explanation for these poles. They appear to be Franklin rods, but the buildings lack any sort of measuring distance standard for them whatsoever. The other implausible explanation is they are flagpoles, which they seem to forget to put the actual flag on them far too often. Either way, these are not caused by meteors obviously. Consistent 90 degree impacts everywhere would be impossible. So what caused these? The best way to blow your own mind is to pick a random mainstream concept or idea or event and prove it is real or exists or happened. You'd be very surprised at what you find. An even better way if you have the mind power is to learn to differentiate theory from the proven. You would be very surprised at just how many well-known concepts have never been proven before. This applies to every subject you can think of. Tech, history, physics, etc. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.